Hello everyone. Welcome to Mayur Programming Club. Today we will be solving another daily lead code problem and the problem's name is maximum distance in arrays. Okay. So the problem statement goes like this. You will be given m arrays where each array uh, that will be given to you will be sorted in ascending order. Okay. And you can pick two integers from two of these uh, different arrays okay picking each integer uh, from one of these arrays and calculate the distance okay and the distance between two integers that we will be uh, picking is defined as the absolute difference between those two integers okay so you have to return the maximum distance you can achieve okay and uh, Let's have a look at the constraints also before thinking of an approach. So according to the constraints, the length of the arrays will be of order 10 is to power 5. And each entries in these array will be ranging from 1 to 500. Okay. Uh, basically 1 to 500 will be their length. And uh, each entry will be ranging from minus 10 is to power 4 to 10 is to power 4. Okay. And arrays will be sorted in ascending order as it's already mentioned in the problem statement also okay and there will be at most 10 to power 5 integers in all the arrays that will be given to you okay so these are the constraints so let's think of an approach and see how we can solve this particular problem So what we can do here is, as uh, there, there was, uh, there will be some couple uh, observations that you have to make. The very first observation is, or uh, it's already mentioned in the problem statement, that arrays are sorted in ascending order. Okay and we have to make since we have to maximize the difference so the minimum and the maximum element are the only element of interest in every array for us because we have to maximize the difference so since we have to maximize the difference the minimum and maximum element in each array are all, uh, only interest okay so and since the arrays are sorted in ascending order it will be very easy to just get hold of those elements the maximum and minimum the first element in the array will be the minimum element and the last element will be the maximum element okay so in each array this will be happening so you can easily get hold of the minimum and the maximum element okay so uh, then since we cannot pick both of the integers from the single array what we will be doing is for each array we will be let's say this was one array okay so let's consider it array one okay and then there is some uh, another array let's consider this array two okay here also we find out the minimum and the maximum ones okay so this is the uh, minimum or oh, let's keep that color only okay here minimum and uh, this is the maximum okay so what you will be trying to achieve is you will be uh, for each of the minimum and the maximum element in each of the arrays uh, you will be seeing what is the minimum and the maximum element we have seen till now so you will be what you will be doing is since you will be giving a 
set of arrays or a 2d uh, array like structure and there will be some arrays in it okay so you will be doing a traversal of this array from left to right direction okay and you will keep a track of couple of things okay so the first thing will be max till now okay so you will keep track of maximum element that you have seen in an array till now and you will also keep track of minimum till now okay so these two things you will be keeping track of uh, other uh, variables that will also help you to return the final result will be the maximum distance okay and uh, yeah for now uh, this should be fine so you will be updating this maximum distance and uh, you will be initializing this max till now and mil till now outside the ranges of the uh, given elements in the array okay and what are those ranges so you should be uh, you know initializing those ones outside these ranges minus 10 is to power 4 and 10 is to power 4 okay so maximum since it is a maximum you can initialize with the minimum integer value possible okay so minimum integer value and this one can be initialized with maximum integer value okay and since the distance is the absolute difference so we can initialize it to zero so let's start so you will visit one array if it is the first array that you are visiting then you are not having any array to be uh, uh, you know to do comparison with you will just simply update your maximum and uh, minimum till now okay and your max distance will not be updated because it was the first array that you encountered then let's say you uh, you reach this particular array okay your maximum till now and minimum till now are, are already having some values so what you will be doing is for the minimum number you will be trying to find its absolute difference with both of these maximum till now and minimum till now okay max till now and min till now difference with these two okay or you can say absolute difference okay min till now so once you are able to find this for the first element of the array you will be doing same thing for the last element of the array so you might ask that it was the minimum element in the array why didn't we just find out the difference with the maximum till now because that would have resulted into the maximum difference anyways but the thing is uh, in the constraints you should observe that there can be negative numbers also so if the situation is like this that min till now is larger in magnitude let's say it's minus 10 and max till now is just 1 okay so if we consider the signs this one is greater obviously but if you and let's say the minimum here was 2 okay so if you take the difference 1 minus 2 will be if you take absolute difference 1 only okay but if you take difference with minus 10 and minus 2 then you will see that it will result into well that's why we are considering this one also and similarly in maximum case we will consider the maximum also okay maximum till now so that's why two scenarios are there okay so for each array you will uh, uh, consider the maximum distance you can achieve with this first and last elements okay so this was the maximum distance you can achieve with first element okay so max distance with first element okay and similar thing you will be doing uh, with the last element okay of every array so once you have done that then you will be having uh, two kind of differences uh, first element difference and the last element difference whatever this difference is the maximum you will have one another variable let's take a fresh slide here okay or 
for the sake of clarity let's erase these observations so that everything is there in the single slide okay so what you will be doing is uh, you will be having a variable current distance okay so current distance will be maximum of first element distance and last element distance this variable will be find out for every array okay and once you have find this current distance you will be updating your maximum distance okay you will be taking maximum distance current value and current distance maximum okay so maximum will be updated to or max distance will be updated to maximum of current distance and max distance okay in each step this will happen and uh, we should not forget to update our once we are done with these operations the very next step will be to update our minimum till now and max till now okay max till now and minimum till now should be updated okay by updated i mean that for max till now you will be obviously update trying to update it with the maximum uh, element or the last element of the current array and for minimum till now you will be trying to update with the first element of the current array okay so once you have done all this and you have done tra traversing these nested arrays uh, set of arrays then you will be simply having your maximum distance that is possible okay and then you will simply return it okay if uh, you then uh, let's have a quick look at the implementation also if uh, there is some uh, unclear uh, some things are not clear right now it will be more clear in the implementation section okay so let's take a fresh slide for that so this is the implementation i have kept the variable names as much as uh, you know explanatory itself uh, self explanatory you can say so that it will be easier for you to understand okay so first of all what we are doing here is we have initialized two variables as we said that we will be requiring them minimum till now and max till now and we have initialized them with the values that will be outside the range of the given integer uh, values that arrays can be having so these these were minus 4 10 is to power minus 4 and 10 is to power 4 okay 10 uh, minus 10 is to power 4 to 10 is to power 4 okay so once you have initialized these variables then the very next step will be to initialize uh, one another variable which is the maximum distance till now this is what you will be returning as your result then you will be doing a linear traversal of this nested arrays okay so linear traversal and if it is the first array that you will be updating if it is the first array uh, you can say encountered then you will simply update your maximum till now and minimum till now with the last and the first elements okay as we already discussed so from each array you will be requiring two things the first element and the last element because they will give the maximum distance okay so uh, we are not interested in rest of the elements of each of the array okay so then uh, uh, if this condition is not true it means that you are already past the first element of the first array of the nested arrays then you will find the first element distance and the last element distance the logic here is pretty much similar so you will make their pairs with maximum element in now and uh, minimum element in now both for the first and the last element and find out maximum out of these okay so once you have done that you will be finding your current distance which is the maximum of the of the first element distance and the last element distance okay 
तो वंस यू आर हैविंग दैट यू विल ट्राई टू अपडेट योर मैक्सिमम डिस्टेंस टिन लाओ ओके तो द वेरी नेक्स्ट स्टेप विल बी दिस देन यू विल नॉट फॉरगेट टू अपडेट योर मिनिमम टिन लाओ एंड मैक्सिमम टिन लाओ विद द लास्ट एंड द फर्स्ट डिस्टेंस फर्स्ट एलिमेंट रिस्पेक्टिवली एंड देन यू विल बी सिंपली रिटर्निंग योर मैक्सिमम डिस्टेंस टिन लाओ ओके तो दिस इज वट विल बी रिक्वायर्ड टू इम्प्लीमेंट दैट अप्रोच and uh, as if we talk about the complexities since we were doing just a linear traversal time complexity wise it will be order of n you can say where n is the size of this given arrays nested arrays okay or the number of arrays you can say number of arrays okay and space complexity wise uh you must have observed that we are not using any extra space just using some variables so space complexity wise we are constant okay so we are using constant extra space just using some variables and updating their values as we are traversing the array from left to right direction in a linear fashion so uh i hope everything is clear to you now if it's uh, you are having some uh Uh, doubts left or you are having any queries in general then you can ask them in the comment section and uh, i really hope this solution work through added some value to your journey of honing your dss skills until next time keep solving more and more problems and i will see you in the next video thank you for watching